hello 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 welcome back to the channel Keyshay's Creations thank you for joining in with me today Back to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome to those of you who are just stopping by for a quick view thank you once again for joining in with me today as you see from the title of the video we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful monthly energy pick a, not pick a card listen maybe what's next but but uh the monthly energy reading for our beautiful powerful before we do y'all should go without saying please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know and if you have any questions do not hesitate to let me know as it states in the description box these readings are intended to be timeless time and energy are fluid meaning you could have already gone through this you may currently be going through this and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that spirit has for you within the reading please keep in mind that they are general not all may apply to you and that's perfectly okay Take what does and let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected, friend, family, or foe. I do not know your life. Please use the free will of discernment. Listen, <laughs> use all of that. Your free will and discernment, <laughs> okay? To determine where you lie. Please do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't because I am not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting, all right? We also don't subscribe to gender roles over here. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, which we all have both within us. So please keep in mind that of that, why can't I get my words? And we don't get into it. Hold on, because hold on. They're trying to have me jump on in. What else I need to say? I'm also big on numerology, y'all. Whether or not I call it out, but if and when I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number the day and or month that you're born, potentially the house you want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart. And if y'all hear anything in the background, that is my tea freckle, okay? So whatever. Typically in the past, we have had it set up where it's read past, present, future. It still may be the case. You read it how you will. But for me, I switched it up a little bit and the energy that I'm calling in, this is potentially current energy that you may find yourself in. And once again, depending on your timeline, this could be past, present, or future for you. You could be all over the place. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's all going to tie in anyway. But um, this is the potential energy to come in the near future. And then this is the advice, okay? Um, we are utilizing, decks will be listed below, but we are utilizing, this is a newer deck. And if you missed, if you haven't checked out the unboxing of this deck, it's the Heart Medicine Heart Oracle by Elena Fairchild. Please check that out. It's amazing thus far and I'm enjoying the messages that we are receiving from it and then it's clarified by the golden wheel tarot or the tarot golden wheel however you want to put it all right um before we even get started let me go on and get my my tea hold on all right yes yes and yes well, I let that steep all right yeah so decks are below we are going to go ahead and let me before we move any further because it's late and they're trying to have me yell <laughs> um let's get a quick word of prayer okay to the most high heavenly and divine angels ancestors spirit guides i come to you saying thank you thank you thank you thank you so very much for this beautiful day and this opportunity thank you for using me once again as a clear and open channel and a humble vessel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective no chaser thank you Thank you for the insight, the awareness, the discernment, the voice, and the reason. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the love and the support. Thank you so very much. Thank you for the protection. Speaking of protection, I ask that you block, bind, unwind, cut cords, simply transmute any low vibe negative energy or entities trying to come in to steal, kill, and destroy or to cause any hurt, harm, or danger and or to keep us stuck stagnant and or confused thank you thank you thank you i pray as always that the message uplifts enlightens heals strengthens protects nurtures nourishes encourages please bring forth whatever it is that the viewing may need 
help them, allow it to uplift them, bring forth whatever they may need, and may it play out in the lives of any and all involved for the utmost and highest good, as I know you will see fit. For all these blessings, I come ask and give thanks yet again. I say, I say, I say all. All right, y'all, because, hey, listen, getting into your channel messages, Aquarius, I am so sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I apologize because I almost forgot about y'all. How could I? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, how could I? But with that being said, y'all already know it's a message and everything. So I feel like some of y'all may feel like you have been forgotten or you may be trying to forget about somebody else. I don't know. But the thing about it is, the beautiful thing about it is the songs that I got for you are fortunate. And what was the other one? Um, Rome. Uh, I forgot the name of the song. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> okay, y'all, this junk is really crazy. Like, I cannot believe how, like, forgive it. That's why I feel like, hey, y'all might be all over the place mentally and or somebody else over you, regarding you, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If it's not you. But baby, listen. Because... <laughs> It's not funny, but goodness, you gotta laugh. I have never been this absent-minded and like, geez. And I feel like, and the thing about it is, you may have something to do strongly with the Gemini because I did them before. And that's when I realized, wait a minute, because I had already had their spread and everything out, you know what I'm saying, like this. And they had been marinating for a couple of days. And I didn't, um, I didn't even realize I forgot about y'all until today like when I was doing theirs or getting ready to do theirs child is something else so anyways <clears throat> and they had a whole bunch of like mental stuff going on and especially right here with your bottom of the deck of the tarot being eight of swords somebody <laughs> is conflicted and I don't know why I'm laughing because the thing is is I guess it's what's so funny is because of the songs it's like no you are not forgotten about it if you feel that way and no, you can't forget about that person because especially it's like romantic, the songs of romantic because y'all know Fortunate by Maxwell. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just as sure as the sky is blue. I'm blessed the day that I found you. And what even remembered me or triggered the reminder of the song is, as we're about to get into in just a moment, the there are four leaf clovers on uh, each of the Christ's, Cicada Christ's shoulders. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, which we're going to get into that in a minute. But um, the other song <laughs> I found it is, is Rome and it's um, one, no, just once, once more, three times, baby. They trying to sex you up and down, baby. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Can you? Uh-uh. You are unforget. What's that song? Unforgettable. Whatever that song is. I know y'all know what that, what I'm talking about, that old school. Uh, is that Sinatra? Don't give me the line. Whoever that is. But that's the song that just came to mind. Even you are unforgettable, honey. And I feel like <laughs> even who you're dealing with is as well. Because I've been telling everybody. People are simply a reflection of you, you understand? Or some parts of you, right? Anyway, so don't ever forget, because baby, you are a blessing to somebody. They feel like that, or you feel like that about them, whatever the case may be. So let's get on into it. And I didn't even get, most everybody has been getting like a numerological uh, message or number within their reading. I mean, obviously any of these numbers may resonate and, um, we're going to get in or whatever else comes out in the tarot, which we're going to get into in a minute. But um, it's but there still has been, it seems like even collectively or there is a trend, if not generally, you know, what I'm saying collectively. But within the signs, there has been a, a, like 212, 1221, especially or even 2112 has stood out. And I even told whoever they came out for, excuse me, it's been a few of them, so I can't even remember all of them. At this point, because y'all, when I be channeling and getting into y'all's different energy, hey, I'll be forgetting. I don't even really be remembering from moment to moment. But um, 
there still may be an overall like collective major energy or some kind of event or something occurring or coming through a during Libra season because Libra energy been coming out strong and I won't be surprised if it is in yours B during um, either 12 21 December 21st or um, what did I say February 21st or even the 12th right of February or and or December okay so it could be even that span between the 12th and the 21st of whatever month but especially February and December you understand what I'm saying all right now <laughs> getting into the current energy you may find yourself in is the number 27 the cicada Christ and when that's why I told you if you haven't checked out the unboxing please go check it out because when this first came out I was like hmm like okay I don't I don't even know if I want to get into it spirit <laughs> I don't know if I want to get into it, but it just is it's something that I've been dealing with as far as like, okay, let me just put it like this. <clears throat> Y'all know we already in your age, like your energy, the age of Aquarius, where it's nothing but truth and enlightenment and things are being revealed, right? Things that people have trying to hide or keep in the dark. Or hidden of course um, or flat out lie about and the reason that this kind of throws me off is because especially in the spiritual community we all know and I I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm treading lightly on how I say it and what I say because I'm not trying to disregard anybody's beliefs I'm not trying to disrespect any any religion but we all know that Christ is of melanated descent if Jesus Christ as it is the inner um, I don't want to say the energy because we know it's the energy but like the the human the person right if if he was real or you know what I'm saying as they say in, in, in projecting the Bible, he is a melanated descent with woolly locks. That's plain as day, clear, right? And he, if he is to come from, I mean, just think about it. If he is to come from, uh, 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 I say Middle East, not Middle East, Lord. Um, if he's, if he is to originate from where he is to originate, Bethlehem, which. Y'all know, I mean, look at the map. You know where that is, right? It makes sense. So I guess the depiction and even the typical depiction that you see, let's even say for St. Nick, because I don't even know why that's coming through. But like, I was thinking about that earlier as I was in your energy. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of the truth and all of that coming out. If you don't know, do your research. Saint Nick is not this big, fluffy, jolly old, non-melanated person. No, ma'am, no, sir. Anyways, getting into this. <laughs> so, I don't know. Y'all may really be like, that's maybe why y'all feeling absent-minded or kind of just all over the place in your head. Because even my, my it, it just, it's not cloudy. But it's just like, it's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of thoughts swarming around. And it's like, what is, what's the real? That's what we're trying to get down to, right? With this particular cicada, Christ, I love the cicada. Y'all know the cicada. If you don't, it's an ancient species. It's um, very sacred. Let me say it like that. And um, it, all, it, it brings me the energy of um, transformation, if you will, or even... Um, yeah, transformation. And if y'all ever even heard the cicadas, you hear, you know, it's, it's a distinct and unique sound. You know that sound when you hear it. It's, it's a sound like no other, right? Um, it's interesting that it's at, it looks even adorned. Like it looks crowned. That is probably the, what, like the mid body. And then that's the head. But that, it, the mid body and the head together look like a crown to me. So I feel like 
this when we talk when I talk about Christ or Jesus energy it's the energy it's not even the being it doesn't matter to me necessarily how the physical being is depicted um I mean I guess it kind of does since I was like hmm. you know what I'm saying <laughs> when I went through the unboxing but whatever that's how the author chose to depict it but like it's the energy it's y'all we know if you believe in the story Jesus died and rose again on the third day so there's some significance even with the number three 27 may be important to someone nine even you may have been born on the second seventh ninth 27th of whatever month okay especially February um, July and or September all right there's a renewal I feel like of the heart is what's going on here and as long as you balance I love that they have the 40 clover on both shoulders and that look like a nut actually look like a oh it's continuing hey it's two it's four of them wow and I'm hearing Erica Badu touch your 40 clover baby we'll get over trying love might come your way yeah mm -hmm. and I don't know this was the, the I'm hearing spider plant and even uh, sweet grass. I don't know what that is behind him, but yeah, so much enlightenment. Christ energy is enlightenment energy. It's truth, right? Because even when I get, I'm even getting Virgo, especially if you're born in September or even on the second, seventh, ninth, or even twenty seventh. Speaking, bringing in that Libra energy, right? But uh, but uh, what's I gonna say? It's it's about like that is the whole. That's Virgo energy. The hermit energy is what I was trying to say um, on most decks for me is that's that's what that is. And Virgo energy is that truth seeker, that healer, you know, what I'm saying that guiding light, enlightenment. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to we're going to read a little bit from the guidebook of what else it's trying to say. And I'm getting some sap. How could it be? Erica Badu, um, too. And then I'm hearing on. Um, the sweetest thing I've ever known. Lauren Hill. It's like a kiss on the collarbone. A soft caress of happiness. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what this talking about, honey. Because I don't know where y'all about to take me, Aquarius, but I feel like it's all over the place. Look, what I tell y'all about this? Somebody love you, child. Somebody love the ground you walk on they worship it they do yeah yeah they do and they see you <laughs> and they kind of whoever this is <laughs> wow i love whoever this is is like i heard pompous asshole but it's not like it's cute though like it's like they full of themselves but they just confident they know they ain't hey, they about to sweep you off your feet and they know it i feel like and that's the thing it's like how could you forget them you know what I'm saying? They unforgettable. You are. They see you as that as well. Could be water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio does not have to be. Okay. <laughs> but they coming to bring you this offering. Like, will you accept my cup? That's almost like, not even almost. I get that as a vow. It's like a ring. Right? Marriage, commitment. That's what they want to bring to you. Mm -hmm. Man, I can't, I can't make it up. And they probably going to come quick, fast, in a hurry. Like, hey, baby, I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging, I'm begging, I can't, I keep going crazy, 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 just thinking about you, baby. Okay, who that, I want to say Pisces. I think that's who that came out for, or that song even came through for. Hey, if you ain't dealing with a water sign, I got a water sign here in your chart, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> or maybe it's coming through, this offer coming through during uh, any one of those seasons. You may want to check those readings out, the water sign readings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh my God. Somebody emotional. Gotta let you know. No, you getting all the songs. <laughs> you getting all the songs. They probably gonna serenade you with songs. Hey, if they they gonna knock your frog off. Yeah. They got they gonna knock your socks off. I, man, it feels <laughs> it feels good. 
Yay. Somebody wear their heart on a sleeve and they are not afraid to tell you. They are very emotional. That's why that cicada is beautiful. That's why that cicada is that Christ's heart. Mm -hmm. They want you to feel it. They want, they want you to feel them. They want to show somebody this cup, oh, baby, somebody cup. That's that's their that's like they hold that sacred, and they are offering this to you. It's something about this three. I'm just not noticing on his chair, the king's chair. Something about this three. I don't even know what that is. I was gonna say lotus. I feel like it is like forming, but um, it's something about that that's that's calling me, speaking to me, but I really don't. I don't know what I feel like they are aligned. You all are in a line alignment or when the stars align or something. Maybe when the moon is in Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, this may occur. Chapley, I don't know. But let's get into this reading of Cicada Christ. And I gotta be mindful of our time because I don't want it to cut out. Page 219. What I say about that three? <laughs> okay. Prosaic ambitions will not satisfy you. Your heart is capable of grander visions, worthy of your soul. Such magnificent man manifestation requires complete transformation as spiritual fuel for actualization. The worthy soul vision awakens such yearning in your heart that you will be willing to overcome all obstacles, all fears, all doubts in order to live it. Your courage attracts divine assistance to protect the path and reveal the way. Your path is assured and you do not have to be afraid. Timing of all things is divine. Even delays are on your side. So I'm telling you, when the stars align, something about to come through. And this just could be, you know, an offer from spirit. Like, are you going to be committed to your path, your purpose? You know what I'm saying? Your desires. Are you going to be committed to this emotional fulfillment? Whatever this manifestation is, you're trying to bring into fruition, Aqua. Mm -hmm. I feel like true, truly, that's crazy that all this is water. And I just started off the channeling with being in your head and feeling cloudy or just like forgetful or all over the place. And that's because you're going to need to get in your heart space. You you ain't going to be able to think this. Well, I don't want to say it like that, but like you can't really be so much head over heart decision. You're going to have to really feel it. It's going to be an emotional one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Whatever that, whatever it has to do with, whether it's a relationship, an idea, whatever, whoever, I don't, you know, it does not matter. You know what it is for you, because for each and every one of you, it's going to be different, potentially. All right, moving on to the potential energy to come. And we got the Shaman's Mirror, the number 34, and I love this. This is a beautiful card. Some of you may be this shaman. I was telling y'all with the Christ energy, that's healing energy. Some of you may be this, he this shaman, this healer, this medicine woman, this um, witch doctor is what I'm hearing, this whoever, you know what I'm saying? You definitely have it. If, if you are not, it is part of your DNA, honey. It is strong in your ancestry. Um, But even with these, look, three white feather at her crown chakra and even that pink flower, it's like you're going to have to really be graceful and come like uh, ground your, purify your thoughts and be at peace in your mind so that you can really see because she facing off with that hummingbird and it's beautiful because hummingbirds have the energy of free spirit being quick with it you know what i'm saying just they they heart beat so fast you know what i'm saying and they be flying you know they be just moving you know what i'm saying moving by uh, at the beat to the beat of their own drum it is time it is time for you to do so that clock says 11 10 1 1 1 right and i feel like this came out for what did this come out for? I'm wanting to say Aries. Don't quote me on that. But whoever, maybe even Taurus, whoever I said, whoever this came out for, I told them the same thing. It is time. That ones is all about new beginnings. Okay? 34 potentially being a seven. Again, you may have been born on the third, fourth, or even seventh of whatever month, but especially March, April, and even July. We already said July back here, or any of the other months I didn't already say it, okay? She, that's a bell at the end of her hair. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. Because it's even at her, pretty much at her heart space, right? Telling you, move to the move to the rhythm of, of your own beat, okay? Which is your heartbeat. And she receiving so much enlightenment, so much clarity. Use that mirror energy as a portal to manifest whatever you intended to manifest and speak the air energy, which is your energy, 
and talk about um, communication. So speak gracefully and peacefully and lovingly to yourself in the mirror, baby. It's time you start. It's time you tell yourself a different story, I feel like. Especially if you're trying to change your reality. If you're trying to transform like that cicada Christ is saying, yeah, you got you to gotta change the narrative. All right? It's up to you. Ain't nobody else going to do it for you. <laughs> you might not want what they talk about anyway. Anyways, here we got the sun. And I'm telling you, it's all kind of enlightenment coming through with this, baby. This is that healing. That rejuvenation, that renewal, rejoice. And be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you. You create that. You are God, goddess in, in, in physical form, right? What is it you're trying to manifest? This could be a child. We're talking about your children. It's telling you to get in that childlike energy as well, even if you don't have kids or not trying to have kids, okay? Because be carefree, be jovial, you know? Be enthusiastic, optimistic about whatever it is you seek, feel, want to do, be, see, you know? <laughs> and then we have two of wands. And actually, these two came out together, which we're going to get into this one in a minute. This is Aries energy. Don't, but, don't be banging your head against the wall or being stubborn, try not to move. Okay, burn anything that may have had you tied up, constricted, conflicted, um, worried, anxious. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. But it's like burn all of that and just move passionately on how you feel. Make a plan. Map it out, you know. And sit with yourself and use that mirror energy as that portal to manifest. Oh my God, if this ain't got to do with a relationship for some of y'all, many of y'all, probably majority of y'all, I don't know what to tell you. I told y'all, that's what I was getting. And it's like, y'all unforgettable. That's probably why there's two of wands right here. And I'm getting that like stress and anxiety and all of that. Because <laughs> I told y'all these came out together and double confirmation with them too. The choice is yours. I'm telling you, what is it you seek and what do you want to do? How do you want to move? What do you feel? Because if it, if it feels good, why not go with it? Don't be fighting it. Don't resist it. Like, that don't make no sense. <laughs> That's why you all in your freaking head. Oh, no. But let's go on and get to the um, shaman's mirror. Gee, that's funny. Y'all funny. Mm, I'm having fun with y'all energy. <laughs> Even though y'all had me all in my head. Because I'm now hearing, sir, all in my head, all in my head, baby, you. They really got you all twisted, like all up in your head. Mm -mm -mm. Go listen to that song. <laughs> Anyways, it said, page 271. It says, and that's a 10, y'all, a one. It's time for the new. And it's up to you what you want to manifest. It's up to you what you choose, right? Okay. So, a pause to reflect lengthens that magical moment of liberating potential that occurs between action and reaction. In that moment, there is precious power to halt karma in its tracks. To access such karma clearing potency, slow down and look deeper. That's why them ran. That's why the two of wands is, is in the middle of this. Because it's like, what you fight? What you resisting? What you trying to force that ain't going nowhere? You know? Just take a time out. Map it out. Plan it out. Um... So to access such karma clean potency, slow down and look deeper. The dynamics happening around you are veiled pathways to better understand the dynamics within you. And that's why you need to look in that, take a look in that mirror. It's all about introspection and reflection. Mm -hmm. So be patient and contemplative to understand what is taking place, what belongs to another and what belongs to you. Only then can you realize what is being asked of you at a spiritual level. There's an empowered inner response to an outer trigger that will bring you peace with stimulating wise action on your part. And I told y'all, it's time. It's time to be bring yourself, give yourself that peace of mind so you can see clearly. You are in love. I do not mean somebody in love, shoot. Mm, 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 mm. I can't, I can't. So let's move on to the advice, okay? And we have the number 28, once again, a 10 <laughs> or a 1. It is time. Something needs to be done, daughter, if 
the transformation, if you're still, you know, kind of working your way through that, it's time to be done. Um, Because the new new is right here in the center, you know, with the ones. And I don't know what this is up here, but it looked like a jumbled mess. But I'm also even getting like iguana energy or spirit total. Um, and probably some herbs. Obviously, cicada and hummingbird may be spirit I told for some of you, and even I think these are parrots or some kind of some kind of birds. But um, and you all, this what is this? The ism? Like I guess that's what they call the ostrich. I mean, that's what they look like to me. I guess it's a species of ostrich. I don't know. Don't give me the line. I don't know. We gonna see in a second. But um, she got something locked away. It looked like a boat, a little rowing boat in her. That's interesting. Oh my God. I just got that's that peace be still. Didn't they tell you to be patient? Be still. Like take time to in, to reflect, introspect. Yeah. That ain't moving. It's locked away. It's behind bars. That ship is not sailing. And that's kind of, that not even kind of that is the energy of the two of wands for me. Because you know, it moves, it lends you to the three of wands, which is generally that. That's my be patient, wait for your ships to come in. But in the meantime, whilst you wait, plan it out. See it, you know what I'm saying? Look in that mirror and see what it is. Look deeper inside of you, like they said. Because this two of cups, even if it don't got to do with a relationship, this is my masculine and feminine energy coming into union. But it first has to come into union, even if you are working or want working towards or trying to uh, manifest this partnership, relationship, whatever it may be. Whether it's romantic or otherwise, strong emphasis on romantic though for many of you. Whatever, regardless of what it is, it's like you got to do that first within you before it will manifest or before you will see it in the 3D. Okay? And then I said, what I say about stars aligning? And it's like, you got to give yourself all this love, all this love you seek. If that's what you're seeking, you got to give, you got to fill your cup up first before you even have a cup to offer to anybody and or before you could be in alignment. That's why that three is, is really sticking out in his chair before you even be in alignment to offer your cup. Because the thing about it is we got to be in alignment at all times to even move to the next level and to renew ourselves, to heal ourselves, to regenerate ourselves. And you have to renew your own cup and allow it to overflow. And then that overflow or excess is that which is given to others, not the other way around. We do not, you can't pour from an empty cup, right? So anyway, yeah, baby, that's talk, telling me, hey, that's what they're saying, to be still. And even when I look right here, I know y'all probably can't really see it on camera, but that's like a pearl to me. That's like pearl of wisdom. Hold on, let me check our time. I was close. We didn't already went over a little bit, I think, but it'll be okay. I hope it ain't cut out too much. Either way it goes, let's move on. Clarify this. Page of one. Oh, I was about to say wands. Um, wheels in reverse. So shoot, y'all might, for me to about to say page of wands, y'all might be dealing with a sage. That's my sage energy. And that's kind of that player, player from the Himalaya. Like I say it like that, but really it's just like non-committal type of energy. It could have been somebody who was playing the field, you know, in and out. That's probably why you're trying to forget about them. I don't know. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, what I'm saying, but the page of wands has the energy too of like, being ready to passionately go on another journey, especially a spiritual one. But if this had even been, excuse me, the page of wands in reverse, it's like, um, uh-uh, somebody ain't budging. They ain't ready to move. It's kind of bringing me back to this stubborn energy that I was getting out of this two of wands. And with the page of wheels, that's, it's just before the night, right? So it's, um, and the Knight of Wheels, Knight of Pentacles, is already the slowest moving night in the deck. So somebody really ain't budging. You understand what I'm trying to say? This is a youthful type of energy. Like, it, I told y'all, I feel like it could, it may have something to do with somebody's child, because we even got the page of cups over here, right? Child or children, or it's just talking about that childlike energy within you. It's like somebody's not, um, this can talk about too higher learning or desiring that because the pages are all about that new you've you've come after the 10 you've ended some type of cycle and to begin again like you hopefully have learned the lessons maybe you haven't learned the lesson in regards to your stability in regards to somebody not grounded too yeah somebody not because i said all of with in the channeling about being all in your head and almost in the clouds where you so is so much going on swarming around in your head that you forgetful 
And so they need you. That's why this is ungrounded. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like you may want to utilize. We're going to see what the ism has to say in a minute. But utilize that energy truly to get yourself grounded and turn this right side up. And or not resist going after um, this higher learning or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? This love. This whatever it is you're passionate about. Whatever that may be. Okay? I just heard somebody maybe even getting denied um like uh acceptance into school some kind of school of higher learning whether that's a, a juco or 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 what's the other one's called what's the other one's called what's the two year oh my god why can't i think <laughs> a community college or even a university it's like somebody may and it's not that it's not that you being rejected it may not be the school for you right and or there's a delay or maybe you're resisting even turning in the application or submitting the money somebody may not have the finances i don't know that just went that that really may have to do with somebody's child but that just went or you yourself like that just went that's just a side note for a few i feel like and that may be what's stressing with this eight of swords at the bottom of the deck was stressing somebody out mm -hmm. anyway moving on <laughs> but it said, that's what I said. It, that's what I was getting ready to say too. After I said that, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about because you gonna get you gonna get justice. You know what I'm saying? What is meant for you is shall be for you. But you have to get balanced. And I told y'all that Libra energy was gonna come out in some shape, form, or fashion, didn't I? Powerful. Look at that number too. It's an eleven. Y'all got so many ones. It's probably y'all number. Mm, not even probably. I feel like it is. Definitely. And she did and she got some kind of, I feel like that's a, crisp, a clear quartz in her hand. Clear that energy yet, man. I'm telling you, y'all y'all may really want to, because it's something about, it's something like sitting with just like stopping, thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Being patient too, so that this balance, this enlightenment, um, this justice can come through. So you, you can have peace of mind, truly. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we have Knight of Swords, and this is my truth seeker. <laughs> this may be somebody trying to move a little bit too fast, though. I, I told y'all that, which is why that page of wheels may be, in, you know, is in reverse. But, um, but it's like, you know, don't be too hasty. Somebody really trying to come get you, though, because look how it's going. Somebody really trying to want this, this relationship. And I, I, I mean, look at the King of Cups, and I like somebody loves you. And they, that is the truth. Like they, that's they know that's true. Girl, you know it's true. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, 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 I love you. Tell me, <laughs> call me a lie if that ain't the case. But baby, hey, let's go on to Esme and, <laughs> and see what it say. Page two twenty seven, another two. It says. Creator souls with numerous abilities and potential paths available to them can, at times, become overwhelmed with possibilities. <sighs> Y'all, I began so excited because, like, hey, them channels don't lie. I, I kid you not. I told y'all, somebody all up in their head is just so much swarming around, like, and that's why I was so forgetful. Couldn't believe that. Like, I was like, this is crazy. Anyway, in the quest to accomplish grand designs and expand further, one may get caught up in the dream and sometimes lose sight of the underlying core mission. Seek sacred simplicity. Becoming clear about the fundamental purpose and meaningful intention will support you in making choices that best honor your soul fruition, overcoming potential distractions. Release excess to ensure swifter progress towards your real heartfelt goals. And that might, that's probably why that page of wheels is in reverse. To release it because you see i mean you saw it i don't really want to mess with these right now but he was dropped with it in reverse he's dropping that coin right it says release excess to ensure swifter progress towards your real heartfelt goals with a practical plan that stays true to your soul's values you will make exceptional progress and earn juicy rewards <laughs> I love how they put that. So it ain't no need to stress. They want you to obviously release this. So let's get into this bottom of the deck energy because this is the ultimate piece for me. And like I said, this thing came out for a couple of people already. I don't remember who exactly, but um, 
it's the it, I feel like she even came did she come out in the no I don't know I, I was gonna say the, the unboxing but um she's at ultimate peace here and these with these white I don't know what kind of flowers I just heard peonies but I think I told whoever it came out for her, I don't know I had got lilies too even peace lily I really may want to work with that but whatever flowers, it's white and it's pure. And it's like, these are surrounding her heart space. They also have a hint of pink or mauve, which is that Kuan Yin, care and compassion energy for me. That's healing, very much so healing, but it's surrounding her heart space, right? So it's like, that's where you need to be with all this loving energy and give that to yourself, as I said. And that will calm, help calm your mind. I've been telling, that's been the general thing. And I feel like, for a while now, like as long as I've been doing these uh, monthlies, that's been the overall thing for many of us to get out of our minds, stop overthinking it and trust our heart. You know what I'm saying? Move with what we love passionately. But because um, whoever this came out for, it also came out with um, the, uh, which one? Seba Yachche, I want to say. And in that, she's she has locks. And she's bound and tied up and it's just a lot of like i get this as confusion and kind of and i heard torment and just like thoughts kind of all over the place because y'all know the um hair locks hair in general can um hold energy and dna and so it may be long-standing like old 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 past thoughts and ideations and that's why they prompted me to say what i said about rewriting your script right if you want something new and different you got to see it though envision it and then speak it manifest it and use that mirror portal i'm telling you there's no coincidence that this is in the center like this all right and then if these really are pairs y'all already know pairs repeat shit right so if if they are if you're tapped into the pair energy and all you doing, all you gotta do is think it. They gonna repeat it and speak it out, put it out there in the universe. Mm -hmm. But that's also heavy enlightenment surrounding her. This for overall, like the whole thing, you will receive this as long as you take time to really sit with yourself and do that introspection and reflection. Okay. All right. Let me see. Be so long. Here we go. Page 157. Ain't that a three? Yep. Yeah. No. What is that? 12, 13, 4. Potentially. Anyways, genuine friendship is grounded in acceptance, interest, and care. It brings out the best in us, offers encouragement for growth, and acknowledges our limitations and challenges with compassion. Friendship is a relational capacity for regard, reassurance, and relief. Be such a friend to yourself, like I said. Be sweet to yourself. Drop the inner war with your body. That's a two of wands energy. Mm -hmm. Drop the inner war with your body, your mind, or your life, and consider how you might befriend yourself unconditionally, bringing yourself into union, feminine and masculine energies, but heavy emphasis on the feminine, like that healing, nurturing part of it, you know, loving part of it. All right. There are many good things that want to make their way into your life. Generating the emotional safety of friendship within naturally opens your heart to attract and enjoy the divine warmth that desires entry into your world. Like I said, I can't make this shit up if I try, y'all. I told y'all, you got to give it to yourself first. And then the excess, once you fill your cup, renew yourself, heal yourself, regenerate yourself, and grow, that excess overflow is what will then or can be given to others and will be released out to attract the love of my life. <laughs> what she say? You are my friend. Mm -hmm. But you got to give it and be it to yourself first. I mean, that's what they said. <laughs> so stop stressing. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay? All right, Aqua. That's where I'm going to leave it. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment and testimony down below. You never know how this may help someone grow, especially in including yourselves. And y'all, that's only if you feel called to, okay? But I hope that's what you're here for. Because what else are we doing? That's the intent and purpose of this channel anyway. So, 
whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate it. I love you for it. If you want to join me for any other type of video or any more monthlies, please check the playlist on my channel. I hope and pray to see you there, and I hope and pray you find what you're looking for, okay? Either way, take care. Be easy. Don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Peace. Thank you.